if your plumbing vent on your house freezes up, I'm going to explain some of the reasons why it happens and how to fix it. First, let me explain how the system works. Here's your toilet and it goes down into your septic system or it could go to the city sewer system. But here at this point, in order to allow everything to go down, you need air from up above to allow it to drain in. Now in colder weather, this would represent snow here. And if you take the air that's coming up through the warm house and then it comes out the top of your roof, that warm, moist air comes in from the warm side of your house out the cold and it starts to condense in here and when it does condense it starts to freeze and you can have a complete blockage in the pipe itself up here. Now if you do start to smell sewer gas in your house it could be that this has completely frozen up the sewer gas is not able to get out of the vent and it'll just kind of permeate the house and you'll be able to smell it in there. Now there's a lot of codes that if you have a three inch pipe here, before it goes through the roof, they have you take it up to about four inches. That way, if the wet condensation starts to form up here, it will form along the walls in here, but it'll still allow for some room for the gases to be able to escape. Another way that you can kind of stop this from happening is if you insulate on the outside of your pipe. So if this is a four inch pipe, then you could put a six inch pipe up here and insulate it so it's insulated and will allow this moisture to be able to get out that way. I have found that for the most part, this where you take it from the three inch and you go to the four inch, that typically takes care of the problem. Now I have seen where sometimes it'll get so cold that even with this extension, it'll still freeze up. Now, if you take heat tape and you wrap it down here, I have found that that will heat things up just enough to be able to keep things moving and keep the freezing from stopping. Now you want to make sure that if you do put heat tape here, you want to make sure that you don't insulate it because you do not want it to get too hot and melt your pipe. Now the heat tape that we used has a thermostat so it only comes on when it's about 32 degrees and we only turn it on when it is blocked. Now I have seen products that people will take a piece of copper tubing and they'll put a piece of copper tubing down in here with a T that will go on either side like this. That way if everything freezes up, there's still the ability for gases to be able to go up through this copper pipe and out. That product is called the sewer skewer but a lot of people, they'll just take a piece of copper pipe, they'll bring it like this, they'll put a T right in here, put a little bit of pipe out here, and that way it can't fall down the pipe, and they'll just drop it in. And some people say that works, uh, some people say that it doesn't work, that it freezes up anyway. Now if you've got a thin pipe that just goes all the way through, you could certainly try that. I would bring the copper down as far as you can to try to get it into the area where the heat will be conducted here and then it'll bring it all the way to the top. That could give you a little bit of an advantage. A lot of times the pipes will come up, they'll bend, they'll move all over the place and then go up through the roof. And if that's the case, I'm not sure if you'll be able to capture enough heat, but it's worth a try. The method that I have seen that has worked the best is to just take your three inch pipe and just take it to the next size up and go a four inch pipe. So if you have any thoughts, please leave comments down below. Thanks for watching.